Welcome back to Forgotten Histories. Right, today I want to explain to you why the 20-year explanation for how long the pyramid was built just does not make sense. There is no way it was built in 20 years, in my opinion. And here, I'm going to tell you why. The Great Pyramid of Giza is the last surviving wonder of the ancient world. We're told it was built in just 20 years, using copper tools and manpower alone. But when you start to look closer, the timeline starts to fall apart. Let me break it down to you why. So here's the deal. Most of the pyramid is made of limestone, which is pretty soft compared to granite. To shape these blocks, the Egyptians apparently used copper tools, chisels, saws, etc. And sure, copper can cut limestone, but not for long. You would have to take into account how quickly this soft metal would blunt and go dull. You'd probably just get a few good hits before you had to stop and make new ones. Now imagine doing that for millions and millions of stones. It would just be time consuming, too time consuming to have it done within 20 years. Which brings me nicely on to my next point. The pyramid is made up of 2.3 million stone blocks. If it was really built in 20 years like the mainstream say, that means they had to place around 315 blocks every single day. That's roughly one block every 4.5 minutes without stopping for 20 years. And when I say without stopping, I'm talking about 24 seven. No weekends, no sick days, no time off. Forget about sandstorms. Literally 20 years around the clock, non-stop. And remember, these blocks weren't light. Some weighed up to 15 tons. Just to move them into position would be no small feat at all. I mean, sure, the limestone came from nearby, but not the granite. Granite came from over 500 miles away. Now, at this point in the proceedings, you're probably already saying, Will, that sounds ridiculous. How could they possibly do that in 20 years? Well, let me hit you with something else. When you talk about granite, they had to use a harder stone called dolerite in order to pound the granite, to chip it, to fracture it, in order to shape it into the shapes that they wanted. Now, before we move on, let me just say that again. Take a harder stone and whack it onto a slightly softer stone in order to shape it. Do you know how much time that is gonna to take to achieve? I'm going to put that up on the screen right now and show you exactly what I mean. This is the mainstream accepted narrative of how they shaped the actual stones. And not only shaped them, how they quarried them. How they quarried them. I mean, come on, do they think we're stupid or something? That we are going to blindly accept that the Egyptians picked up a harder stone and whacked a slightly less harder stone and they managed to quarry them, shape them, polish them, move them over 500 miles and raise them up into the air in just 20 years? It don't make sense and I'm about to prove to you it don't make sense because I recently came across a video on Jimmy Corsetti's YouTube channel called Bright Insights where he actually went to Egypt and demonstrated just how ridiculous the idea of picking up a slightly harder rock and bashing a slightly less harder rock actually is. So if you don't know who Jimmy Corsetti is, then the links to his uh, YouTube channel Bright Insights and his X account are going to be in the descriptions, whether that's above or below, depending on where you're watching this. Let's get into it. Got it. Hold on. All right, dolerite stone hammers. This is how they say they did it. Let's see what it does on rose granite. Maybe if I pour some water on it. <laughs> does that hurt your hands? How hard is that? Oh, it kind of sucks. But it doesn't really <laughs> hurt yet. It's not doing anything. Try doing a little grinding. Dust. Well. Oh, this is a good shot. You're just chopping up dust. 
Yeah, he is getting stuff off the edge. This is what we need, a whole team. Yeah. He's been some beer for a few hours. Oh my god. I mean, they are they are getting into it, but man, that was... Are you arthritic yet? It's starting to suck. It's starting to suck. It's really starting to suck. It hurts, Mark? He's probably a heart too long. This is literally the mainstream explanation for how this entire quarry was accomplished, including this 1,200 ton, 140 foot long obelisk. So what are we left with? Either the ancient Egyptians pulled off the most incredible engineering feat in human history in record time with Bronze Age tools, or we're missing something big, maybe lost knowledge, maybe a forgotten method, maybe something even more controversial. Now, I'm not saying aliens built it, but maybe, just maybe, the story we've been told doesn't quite add up. What do you think? Drop a comment, hit a like, let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you think the, the, the numbers add up? Because I personally don't. Now, I'm not saying that the ancients didn't build it. What I am saying is they had to have help, not alien help. What I'm proposing is some sort of technology that has been lost to us today. Because the numbers don't lie. It is near impossible to build this magnificent pyramid in 20 years. Let me know. Are you with me? Are you against me? Either way, drop it in the comments. Until next time, this is, well, I'm Will Smith. This is Forgotten Histories, AKA Forbidden Truth. Drop us a like, drop us a follow, and don't forget to share the video. Until next time, stay open-minded.